graphs are a very interesting way to know about many mathematical functions. Well, they are just like drawings of mathematical functions. So let's see some graphs of exponents and logarithms, how they look and what exactly we can say about them. So first, let's consider an exponential equation. Now here it is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now what we'll do is we'll find some values of y when we have some values of x. Okay. So let's see. So we have value of x as minus 2. So if we take x as minus 2 then what will be the value of y? Let's see. So we know that y is equal to 2 to the power of x. That means we can write y is equal to 2 to the power of minus 2 because we have taken minus 2 as x here. Now minus 2 because when the power is negative we can convert it into positive by reciprocating it. That is we can write it as 1 by 2 to the power of 2. So we reciprocated it and the negative power became a positive power. Now we can easily solve it. 2 square is nothing but 2 into 2 that is 4. So this will be equal to 1 by 4 and that in decimal terms is nothing but 0 0.25. So you see when we put x is equal to minus 2 then we get y's value as 0 0.25. This when value of x is minus 2. Okay. So for x minus 2 we have y 0 0.25. Similarly let's try for another value of x. So let's take x is equal to minus 1. Then what will be the value of y? So we can write the equation as y is equal to 2 to the power of x which is minus 1 in this case. So minus 1. So this can be written as now to make this power positive, we can reciprocate this term. So it will be 1 by 2 to the power of 1. Now we know that 2 to the power of 1 is nothing but 2 itself. Anything to the power of 1 is the number itself, right? So this is nothing but 1 by 2. And 1 by 2 in decimal terms can be written as 0. Point five. So here we have the value of y as 0 0.5. This when we have taken x as minus 1. So when we take x as minus 1, y is 0 0.5. So once we have these two values, let's get another value. This time we have already taken minus 2 and minus 1. So let's take x as 0. So what will be the value of y? So let's write this equation. y is equal to 2 to the power of 0 because x is 0 here we have taken assumed. So 2 to the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 is always 1. That is an important property of exponents. That is if x to the power of 0 is there, then its value will be 1. If y to the power of 0 is there, its value will always be 1. So similarly, for 2 to the power of 0, this will be nothing but 1. So we find y is equal to 1 when we have taken x as 0. So that's another set we have discovered. Now, Let's target another number. Now we have already taken minus 2, minus 1 and 0. So let's take 
x is equal to 1. So when we take x is equal to 1, what do we get? Let's see. y is equal to 2 to the power of 1 because x is 1. Now 2 to the power of 1 is nothing but the number itself x to the power of 1 is x. Similarly 2 to the power of 1 is nothing but 2. So we have y is equal to 2. This when x is 1. So when we have x equal to 1 we have y is equal to 2. So we have got this set. Now let's take x is equal to 2. Now once we have taken x equal to 2 then the equation will become y is equal to 2 to the power of 2. x is 2. So this has replaced x. So y is equal to 2 square is nothing but 2 into 2. That is 4. So we have y's value as 4 when x is 2. So x is 2 then y is 4. So we have these values. Now let's take just one more and then we'll complete this table. So we have already taken till 2 so let's take x is equal to 3. So in this case what will happen? So y is equal to 2 to the power of x x is 3 so 2 to the power of 3 so this will become y is equal to now 2 cube is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 that is nothing but 8 so we can write this as 8 so y is equal to 8 when we have x equal to 3 so for x equal to 3 we have y is equal to 8. So now we have the complete table with these values corresponding to these values. That is when x is this value then y will have this value. Similarly for this and this, this and this and all of them. Now we have got these values but how does it help in identifying you know the graph of say an exponential equation like this. We'll plot it on a graph now. So we have a graph here. So this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Okay and the negative side of it is labeled as x dash and the negative side of y will be labeled as y dash. So we have this axis and now we'll plot these points which we had obtained from earlier calculations. So let's see when x is minus 2 y is 0 0.25. So let's see on the x axis we have minus 2 here and on the y we have 0 0.25. So on the y axis this is 0 0.25. 2, 5, right? So we'll try to meet these points somewhere here. So this is one point which we'll find. Second, we have minus 1 and 0 0.5. That is when x is minus 1, y is 0 0.5. So where is minus 1 here? This is minus 1. And we have 0 0.5 on the y. This is 0 0.5. So when we match these points, this is the point which we get. So we have two points here, this and this. Now let's see, when x is 0, y is 1. So this is the 0 or the origin point and for this the y is 1. So this is the point here which matches both the points. So we have plotted three points here. So this will look something like this on a graph paper. Now once we have plotted this, similarly we can plot for x as 1, 2, 3 and for y for 2, 4, 8. So once we get this, so these points we will receive from plotting 
these points on the graph paper. And once we join all these points, we would get a curve which looks like this. Now you see the shape of this curve? This shape of the curve represents our equation that is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So whenever you have an equation which says y is equal to 2 to the power of x, this is the curve which you will obtain when you will plot them on the graph with any value of x. So once we have seen how an exponential equation curve looks like, now let's see what a logarithmic graph would look like. That is when we have values in log. So this is the logarithmic equation which we will use to plot points on the graph. So here we have y is equal to log x to the base 2 where x is the argument and 2 is the base. So now what we'll try to do is we'll take different values of x and then find the values of y for the same and then we'll create a table like this. So let's take x's value as 1. So if we have 1 then we'll denote this y is equal to log 1 to the base 2. 1 has replaced x here. So y is equal to now log of 1 according to properties of logarithms whenever log of 1 to the base anything it will always be 0. So now that we know that so log of 1 to the base 2 will also be 0. So we can say that when x is 1 y will be 0 isn't it? Okay. So we have got that when x is 1 y is 0. Now let's take x as 2. So what will we get then? So it will be y is equal to log x will be replaced with 2 and we have the base as 2. Now again from the properties of logarithms we know that when the base and the argument are same then the log's value is 1. So we can write y is equal to 1. So we got that when x is equal to 2, y will be 1. So once we have got these values, let's try for another value of x. So let's take x is equal to 4. So if we have x equal to 4, then what will be the value here? Let's see y is equal to log x has been replaced by 4 so it will be 4 to the base 2 base 2 now 4 can be written as a power of 2 that is 2 into 2 is equal to 4 that means 2 is multiplied 2 times so the solution for this log will be y is equal to 2 so we found that when we took x equal to 4, we got the value y as 2. So when x is 4, y we get as 2. So we have found these values. Now these are all positive values. But when you will plot it on a graph, you will need some negative values. But how do we find negative values in a graph? Well, we'll do a reverse thing. So let's say we take 2 to the power of minus 1. So what we can write 2 to the power of minus 1 as? We can write it as 1 by 2 because when we convert the negative power to positive power then what happens is we can reciprocate the number and we find that. So we've got it as 1 by 2 which is nothing but 0.5 isn't it? So we can say that 2 to the power of minus 1 is equal to 
0 0.5. Now, if we write it in the log form, what it will be? We can write that log of 0 0.5 to the base 2 is equal to minus 1. Do you remember that if you have x to the power of a is equal to y, you can always write it in log form as log y to the base x is equal to a. So similarly, we have converted these values and we got log 0 0.5 to the base 2 is equal to 1. So that means from here in this form 0 0.5 is x and y is 1, isn't it? So when we have x as 0 0.5, then we get y as minus 1. So now we have these values, but we have got just one negative value. Let's at least get another negative value. So we have already tried 2 to the power of minus 1. Let's try 2 to the power of minus 2. Now we have a negative power, so we will reciprocate it so that we can get a positive power. So we can write it as 1 by 2 to the power of 2. Now this is nothing but 1 by 2 to the power of 2 is 2 into 2, that is 4. So 1 by 4. Now 1 by 4, if written in decimal form, will be 0 0.25. So, we have 2 to the power of minus 2 can be written as 0 0.25, okay? So, if we write it in logarithmic form, let's see if we have x to the power of a is equal to y, we can write it as log of y to the base x is equal to a. So this format, if we follow here, it will be log 0 0.25 to the base 2 is equal to minus 2, okay? So here we have x as 0 0.25 and we have y as minus 2. So let's see for x as 0 0.25, we have y as minus 2. So now we have got sufficient values for both positive and negative. So we'll plot this on a graph. So let's see. Again, we have a graph here. This is the x-axis and the negative side x dash. Similarly, y axis and the negative side y dash. So now let's see what is the first value we have. We have x equal to 0.25 and y equal to minus 2. So let's see. On the x axis, this is the 0.25 value and for y we have minus 2. Now where's minus 2 on y? It's here. So if we try to meet these points, so on joining these points, we get this particular point, which is a plot on this. Now let's see, we have 0 0.5 and minus 1. So let's see, for x, 0 0.5. So on the x-axis, this is 0 0.5. And on the y-axis, we need minus 1. Where is minus 1? Here is minus 1. So, if we join these points, this is the intersection, which is a point again. So, this is our second point. Now, let's see when x is 1, y is 0. So, let's see. We have x here as 1 and y here as 0. So, this is the point which we get. So, we have three points plotted like this. Now, similarly, when we'll plot the other two points, then we'll have these many points on the graph. And once we join these, we would get a curve which looks like this. 
and this curve represents y is equal to log x to the base 2 right so you see how y equal to log x to the base 2 can actually be represented as a curve and this is a very different curve from what we had previously obtained in the exponent equation so let's compare these two curves and let's see what their features are so we have y equal to log x to the base 2 this curve represents that and this curve represents y is equal to 2 to the power of x now you have studied previously that exponents and logarithms are related in fact they are a bit of opposite to each other but representing same values and that's what this graph shows exactly you can see how similar these two graphs are but they are like a mirror image of each other you see this graph is going exactly like this and this graph is exactly going like this and if you draw a line which represents an equation y is equal to x then it is just like a mirror line between them and this is the beauty of graphs they exactly show you the nature of logarithm and exponential equations and not only for this any particular mathematical expression can be represented by these beautiful graphs and you can actually understand what their values represent and how their curves look so next time whenever you find an equation try to plot it on a graph and see how exactly its curves look and then you will find very interesting things about that particular mathematical expression don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per ICSE, CBSE, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program. So at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too. So register for free now.